Hey guys, continuing on with our series, You Can't Love God and Willfully Live in Sin. Got a minute? I know this one is going to be a tough one, but let's just jump straight to what Jesus says because what Jesus says is more important than what I say. If you love me, keep my commands. Once again, another very straightforward thing. If you love me, Jesus speaking, keep my commands. So with this comes a little bit of a debate because some people say, well, you can't be perfect. I mean, you can't not sin. And then you you know how we deny our sinful nature. Other people say, well, what did Christ die for if we are no longer living in, you know, if we're going to continue to live in sin like we did before, then what sacrifice was actually made? What did he gain? And honestly, I don't want to get in any of that. Not one smidgen, but I do want to make the assertion that if you willfully live in sin, if you act like you don't care that this is God's command and that you don't want to live under his authority, then you're not really showing love to God. In fact, Hebrews says this, If we deliberately keep on sinning after we have received the knowledge of the truth, no sacrifice for sin is left, but only a fearful expectation of judgment and of raging fire that will consume the enemies of God. It even goes on in that scripture and talks about how that doing this is taking the precious blood of Christ and treating it as unholy, treating it as common. The blood of Christ is a precious gift that he has given us, that he has poured out his blood so that we can be wiped clean, that we can then live in righteousness. Without it, we are nothing. Whenever it comes down to it, if I love my wife, I will do the things that she asked me to do. I might not be perfect every single day, but I will try. I am going to put in the work to try to love her the way that she deserves to be loved. In the same way, if you want to say that you love God, you have to put in the work. You have to try. So are you putting in the work? Are you trying for God? Thanks for taking a minute.